Hey y'all, it's crawfish season in Louisiana, so let's make a quick and easy version of Creole style crawfish pasta, or what some folks call pastelaya. So let's get started. First, let's melt a bit of salted butter in your skillet over medium heat until the butter begins to bubble. Make sure that the butter is distributed across the entire pan before you start adding your veggies. Let's start with some diced yellow onion. Then we're gonna add equal amounts of diced green bell pepper and diced red bell pepper. And then some diced celery. You wanna season your veggies with a bit of Creole seasoning. We use Mrs. Clotilde's. Product links will be in the description box if you're interested. Then after sauteing for three to four minutes, the veggies should begin to wilt and release a bit of water. Then you wanna mix in some minced garlic and you wanna allow that to saute until aromatic. This takes about a minute. Next, mix in some chunky salsa. Of course, this is hot chunky salsa, but you can definitely decrease the heat by using a medium or mild chunky salsa. And once the salsa mixture begins to simmer, you want to stir in some golden mushroom soup from the can. Not the cream of mushroom soup, but the golden mushroom soup. The brown that looks like gravy. And because there really are not a lot of mushrooms in canned mushroom soup, mix in a small jar of mushroom slices and then season with a bit more seasoning. This is a total of two teaspoons of Creole seasoning, but of course, adjust to your taste. The measurements for all ingredients or in the description box. Allow this mixture to simmer covered until the flavors meld, about five minutes or so. Then add in your sliced andouille sausage. Because the crawfish is the standout protein, I usually cut some of the disc of andouille sausage in half. Sometimes I'll even quarter it. Next, add some cheese whiz. So the task of grating cheese is eliminated for this recipe. Add more or less cheese whiz, depending on how cheesy you want your crawfish pastelaya. You want to stir the cheese whiz into the sauce until it's well incorporated and fairly smooth. Finally, add your Louisiana crawfish. If you're using prepackaged frozen crawfish, remember to drain them before adding to the sauce. And you might have to add a bit more seasoning. But if you boil them yourself or got them fresh, then I'm sure they season good. Once you get your crawfish mixed into your sauce, then you want to cover and simmer for about three to five minutes. Today, I'm using linguine, but use whatever pasta you like. When you boil your pasta, minus two minutes off the recommended cooking time for al dente. So if the package says boil for eight minutes, boil for six. Then you want to drain your pasta well because we don't want to transfer extra water into the pasta laya. Then you want to mix the pasta into the sauce. Turn off the heat and allow the pasta to sit for about two to three minutes before serving. Sitting in the hot sauce will complete the cooking process for the pasta. Then you wanna garnish with green onion or parsley or both and serve warm. And there you have it. A quick and easy Creole style crawfish pasta or what's known in this neck of the woods as crawfish pasta laya. Give it a try. And remember, when you mix a little bit of Creole with a little bit of Cajun, that's good eating. See y'all next time.